Hi, Namaste. This is Vaishnavi Naveen from Bodhi Vidya. Today, I am here to teach you about how to solve a two-digit by one-digit multiplication in a much faster and easier way when compared to our conventional method. Come on, let's see how to do it. So, so it is two digit by one digit multiplication. So, your conventional method, according to your conventional method, so what do we do in case if I have to multiply 23 into 7, what we do first, we go from here, 7 3s is 21, we write it here and we carry a 2 over here and then 7 2s is 14, then we add a 2 towards, so it becomes 161. But now, now what we are going to do is, 23 into 7. See, this is a conventional method. Hmm. Now, in this uh, fast method, so it is what? Now, we go from LHS. Earlier, we used to go from RHS, from right side. Now, we are going to go from left side. What is 2 into 7? 14. 3 into 7 is what? 21. Now, we are supposed to add this. 161. Similarly, I will take few more examples. Yeah. 36 into 8. Okay. 3 8 za is 24. 6 8 za is 48. Now, add these two. Okay. It is 288. All right. We will do few more. 57 into 6. Starting from LHS, left side onwards, 5 6 za is 30. 7 6 za is what? 42. So once we add these two, it is 342. Let me take you through a few more examples. 83 into 4. So 8 4 za is how much? 32. 3 4 za is how much? 12. So, your answer is 3, 3, 2. And then, let us do two more, two more. 94 into 6. Yeah. 9, 6 is how much? 54. And 4, 6 is how much? 24. So, your final result is what? 5, 64. All right. So, this is how we consider or multiply a two-digit by one-digit multiplication in a faster way. See, in our conventional method, what is happening? First, we are trying to find out the right part and then keep uh, calculate the left part and then keep, we add to it. But here, it is straight away. It is visible to our eyes. We go through the left and both the things are visible directly. We will add to it and we end up getting result. Now, let us see how to do do with go about with three digit by one digit multiplication yeah so it is three digit by one digit multiplication for example i will take it as say easy number one two three into four okay yeah. Now, 1 4 za is 4, 2 4 za is 8, 3 4 za is 12. 
okay when we don't have when we have only single digit here we can append a zero in front of it okay now we need to add this one here we need to add the zero here so your answer is 492 getting it another example 238 into 7 okay yeah two sevens are 14 three sevens are 21 8 7 is how much? It is 56. Alright. Now you add these terms. 1, 6, 6, 6. So it is 1, triple 6. So let's try to take some one more example. 4, 36 into 4. Alright. 4, 4 are 16. 3, 4 are is 12. 6, 4 are is 24. Now your answer is 1744. Okay. So this is how we calculate a three digit by one digit multiplication. So in case, in case we get a carry here, we are supposed to add that carry uh, to the next number. So let's try to take a much bigger number, much bigger number. Yeah. Uh, so, it is um, 876 into 7, okay? 8 7 is 56. 7 7 is 49. So, we need to add these digits. So, here we will be getting a carry. Even here we will be getting a carry. So, take this digit as it is 2. 9 plus 4 is how much? 13. Write 3 here. Add 1 here. So, 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Write 1 here and carry a 1 here. So, it is 5 plus 1 is 6. So, 6, 1, 3, 2 is my answer. See, by practice, you can easily write. You need not go through these steps. It is directly, it is visible to our eyes. You will get to know whether you are getting a carry or not and you can end up writing the result in an easy way. Hope so. This video is helpful for you. Keep practicing. Take few random problems and please post us on the comment box. Was it helpful for you or not? Thank you.